Hey guys, friends. It's Jay with Find Your Crazy. We are a family of nine who live full time in an RV with six of our kids, so we go around the country to see every national park. But when you live with a lot of people in a small space, especially an old used rig like we do, things break and they have to be fixed. So today, I'm in the bathroom. Today, I'm in the bathroom because today, I'm going to be talking dirty. I mean, I'm going to be talking about dirty things. Toilets, toilets. Today, we're going to be talking about how to fix toilets. <sighs> That's right, today we're going to be talking about how to fix a leaky toilet. Yeah, it's kind of gross, but it's better than the alternative, which is not having one. So everybody wants a toilet that runs, but not one that runs all the time. So when you got a leaky toilet, that's obviously something you want to fix pretty quick because water in an RV is never, ever, ever a good thing. So there's basically two different ways that your toilet can leak. So let's take a look and see. Okay, first off, the details. So this is a Thetford Style 2 RV toilet. Uh, however, I looked around and it looks like uh, the Thetford Style Lite and Style Plus are all uh, exactly the same as far as the mechanisms. And so the repair sequence would be the same. And even the kits that we're going to talk about and link to are the same for all of those. So if you've got any of those, which is most everybody, uh, then this is going to be the route for you. Uh, number two. We have cleaned all the number two. <laughs> we have cleaned this toilet within an inch of its life. Uh, you could eat off of it, even though I'm not going to. So I would suggest um, getting some cleaner. And then once you're done cleaning it, bleaching it down, um, because you are going to have to be handling this uh, a pretty good bit as you're moving it around. I would also suggest going to the Dollar Tree and picking up one of these guys, uh, because not only cleaning the outside of it and the inside of the bowl, but you're going to want to open that valve up uh, and clean the tube that goes down basically between there and the floor because it's going to be pretty nasty. Um, and then what you can do is just throw that guy away when you're done because it only costs you a dollar. Uh, so all of that has been done. So as we said, there's basically two ways that your toilet can leak. Uh, the first one is um, with this valve um, and seal that is right there that you can see, that round valve and the black seal. Um, and so that one leaks if you run water into your toilet. If it doesn't stay in the toilet, so if it either leaks out really quickly or it slowly leaks out, you come back and there's no water left in there, uh, that means that you've got a problem between that valve and the seal. So that valve uh, is actually shaped kind of like my hand uh, and goes back and forth out of the way and then seals around this black rubber seal, which you can see right there. So if that seal's not tight, it's going to let the water go down, which, you know, that's kind of annoying. But what's really bad is if that seal's not tight, it doesn't also mean that the water's going to go down. It means all the fumes from your black tank can be coming back up and don't nobody want that. Uh, and so that is one of the issues. And there's a kit um, that we will link to and talk about um, that fixes that issue. Um, the second issue is with uh, the water continuing to run. So if you do your pedal and you let off, so you can see this is the major issue we're having and it slowly closes. But then once it closes, you can see the water coming out of this little spray valve. Uh, see how it's still trickling? Um, that is really bad because that means that this toilet bowl is slowly going to leak up. And when it fills, uh, unlike the toilet near your house, there's no backflow. Uh, and so when it fills up, it's just going to spill out into the room and then it's going to run down underneath your basement and then run out the side of your rig. Not that we would know anything about that. Yes, that happened to us um, twice. So that's why we're fixing this. Uh, so in the meantime, you have to actually pull up a little on that handle to get it to stop. The problem with that is not only inside, it's here on the side. Um, behind this pedal that you push your foot down on, there are actually um, kind of three mechanisms. Uh, one of them opens up that valve that we talked about. But the other one that's right back here uh, is the water valve. And it controls the water that comes up from the tube uh, and comes out of this piece right here. And so that is the other kit, the second kit that you're going to buy. Uh, and so I would suggest, and this is from experience, um, that if you're going to replace one, replace both. So no matter which of the two problems you're having, they're really actually connected. We were just having the problem with it filling up, and I replaced just this one part. Uh, and then we started having the problem with the other. And so 
if you're going to go through all the work, it's only like 20 more bucks to get both kits. Um, I would highly suggest, and again, that's from experience, um, that you go ahead and just do both repairs that we're going to do right here all at once. So to get started, first thing you need to do is get the toilet out of here because it's a whole lot easier to work on uh, outside somewhere. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is cut off the water uh, to your rig outside. Make sure that's turned off and that your water pump is turned off so that you're not putting water when you turn off your water. Uh, and then bleed off the water from the valve by just pressing down on the pedal and all the water out of the center of the toilet. Uh, then you're going to take the toilet seat off uh, using the two screws that are back behind the seat. Then you're going to take the actual toilet out um, by first disconnecting the water in the back uh, and then taking the two screws off of the floor. And then the toilet just lifts out and you can take it outside to work on it. So before you lift the toilet all the way off the floor, you want to grab a couple of other things. Uh, rag, uh, dish rag, or uh, a towel. I find that if it's a little damp, it works a little bit better. And a trash bag. Uh, you could also use a couple of Walmart bags. And you're going to want to put the towel inside of the bag, and then you're going to use that to stuff down in the hole that's left in the floor. Otherwise, all of your black tank smells just going to be coming back up into the camper the whole time you're working, and that is just not pleasant. All right, so first off, no, there's no good place to do this repair. Um, obviously, it'd be great if it was up on a table, but that's just gross. Uh, and you don't want to put it right on the ground because you don't want to get it sandy and dirty. If you got a concrete or an asphalt site, that may be great. We don't. We're here at the beach with all the sand. So I'm just going to put down a bag and do it down on the ground. Um, because the reality is, no matter how hard you clean it, there's just going to be places that just aren't going to get clean because y'all know what we use that thing for, right? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take the bowl off the top. Uh, and we're going to do that by disconnecting this water line. Um, which um, you need a pair of pliers uh, to just pinch that and slide it down and then that'll slide off. Uh, and then there's two bolts right here. Um, mine are 16, 30 seconds. Um, don't know what yours will be, probably about the same. Uh, and so we're just gonna take those two off uh, and then the bowl sits on these tabs that you can see right back up in there. And so once those bolts are out, uh, it's just gonna twist uh, about two inches and then it'll just lift straight off the top. All right, now that that is off, you can see the seal's gonna just come right out and the ball valve once we um, get to that part. Um, but first we're gonna take the pedal off and um, there's just no good way to do that except brute force. <laughs> You're gonna kind of lay it down and um, kind of give it a couple little whacks right there and it'll eventually just uh, pop off. All right, so now that we've got these parts exposed, um, so this is obviously the rotating part of the pedal and the spring that uh, helps it go back and forth. Um, and then this is the part that controls the flapper valve and the seal just fell off because I was moving it. Uh, and then all of this is 
the part for the water valve replacement. So this is one kit and this with the inside uh, is the second kit. So uh, let's deal with this one first. Um, super, super easy. Uh, so this is actually a tab. You're gonna lift up on it and then turn it. And then it just turns all the way, wiggle and it lifts off. And then down inside of there, you can see that little black thing. That is the seal with the spring on it. You can get a pair of needle nose pliers and pull that out. And then you're ready to replace it. So this is everything that comes in the first kit, which is for the water valve. Uh, and so you have the actual valve and then there's an O-ring seal uh, that goes on it. Then you have the little hat seal down in the bottom and the spring that goes with it. And then the lock washer for the top. And then both kits come with this. This is the ring that goes uh, on the bottom of the toilet that seals it to the floor. Um, and we'll show that when we put it back in, but they both come with one of these. So you'll end up with an extra one of these. So to assemble this, You'll notice that the spring has a big side there on the bottom and a small side on the top. And then the little hat um, has an opening on the bottom. So that goes over the small part of the spring. So it looks like that. And then this O-ring goes on this guy all the way up to the top, just like so. And then this guy does not sit down inside of it like that. Uh, it actually goes through it. Um, and so you can see um, you put that little tab up through it like that and then push up. And so now it won't go up anymore and this guy won't let it go down. Um, and so now you're ready to just get a pair of needle nose pliers, uh, put this back in the bottom and then put the valve back on. All right, so reassembly. Um, first, we're gonna put um, this back down in that hole. Um, so a little pair of needle nose pliers, just hold on to it. And then right down in there. Spring fell off, but that's okay as long as we get it back around it. There we go. And then I'm just gonna use a screwdriver to just push it down lightly all the way around so that it's seated down in there good. And there you go. Now this mechanism uh, goes back on. This guy goes down. And you're gonna get the top ring lined up. Kinda have to push down a little bit on it because of that O-ring. Now, there we go, now it's seated down in there. And then we're just gonna twist until that pops back on and then we're good to go. All right, now we're gonna do the waist valve, the ball valve. Um, and so the first thing is this guy comes off. Um, and so you're just gonna take this screw out, hold it in place. Then this whole guy lifts out. All right, now for the top part. Um, first thing is this seal can come off and just be thrown away. I don't need that anymore. And then this little part right here pops off with a little seal. And then you got access to this guy, which then you just squeeze in like this and it pops right out. Now listen, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I've already taken this thing out once, cleaned it and put it back in there so I could show you because it is nasty in there because there's no way to clean it until you get the thing out. You don't have to clean it because you're not filming, uh, but just realize when you take it out, it's gonna be a little gross. Just be prepared. All right, so this is what comes in the second kit. Uh, you got a new replacement ring seal, uh, a new replacement uh, ball valve, and then this ring comes separately in a little bag and it just pops on there. Um, I can't do it with one hand, so I did it already, um, but it just goes on there um, just like that. And then, like I said, you get another one of these to seal to the floor, uh, which we'll use in just a minute. So now let's go put this guy in. So you're gonna reuse these three pieces. Uh, this part that goes right up here on top of the valve, 
uh, this arm, actuator arm and uh, then the screw uh, that goes down in there. So this guy especially you're going to want to make sure you clean really good as well as clean out the hole that it went in just so there's no gunk um, that's keeping it from um, closing back uh, all the way. Then you're just going to reassemble uh, and so first uh, is this guy and again you just kind of squeeze him um, to get him inside of those two holes that are inside of there. And then this guy is going to go back on top. And then this guy will go here, but he won't really sit there until we put the bowl on. So I'm going to take him off for just a second. Uh, and then we're going to put this guy back on. Uh, and so you can see it has this little groove right there in it that lines up with the little groove on the ball valve. So you just kind of have to play with it until it gets in there. If this is straight up, this guy should be right up against that. And that's how you know that you're good. Uh, and then you're just gonna drop your screw back in there and screw it back in. All right, there you go. Uh, now we're ready to put the bowl back on um, and then we'll put the pedal back on. Okay, so this is quite possibly the most frustrating part of the entire endeavor, is getting this uh, foot pedal back on. Why? Uh, because you see on the back of the foot pedal, uh, you've got the um, stem that goes in there, and then you've got cavities for this knob and a cavity for this knob, and they all have to line up. Uh, and then the spring part right here uh, goes in right here into this cavity. Um, and so you basically got one, two, three, four things, one, two, three, four things that all have to line up. Um, and then once you get it all lined up, just give it a little smack right there on that dot and it'll pop down in there and then you're good to go. But it um, can be pretty frustrating. So now we're ready to put the toilet back on the floor, um, but first we're going to put this valve back on. You can see it kind of has a lip that goes up and that goes down towards the floor. Um, so you just put it around that ring at the bottom, you can see it's still kind of sticking out and then we're going to put it on the floor so we can take our bag out. And then all you're looking to do is line up these screws with the holes and make sure the ring is sitting on there. Don't worry when you put it on, it's going to feel a little flimsy uh, until you tighten it down to the floor and compress that seal. So now uh, we're just ready to put our bolts back on. screws back in and the water line attached back to the back and readjusted that pedal it was not quite on right uh, so I had to kind of move everything back around to get it back on again now that all that's done 
We're gonna turn the water on. First, make sure there's no leaks in the back of the toilet. Then we're gonna flush a couple times to make sure there's no leaks anywhere. And then I'll put the lid back on. <laughs> So that's it, we're all done. And it's a good thing because there's a lot of people waiting outside this bathroom for me to be finished. Uh, really, this was not a hard fix. Uh, it only took those two kits. Um, and again, the link is down in the description box. I got them both off Amazon. It cost me about $45 total for both of them. Uh, the fix itself took, if I hadn't been filming, probably between 45 minutes and an hour, definitely under an hour. And that's taking the toilet out, changing everything, putting the toilet back in. It only requires a couple of tools. This is definitely something you can do if you're having these issues and it'll save you having to get a whole new toilet. So that's it for another week of repairs here at Find Your Crazy. We hope you choose to follow along with our channel. You can subscribe right over there. You can catch all of our crazy adventures as we go around this country with our big family and our little RV uh, as we enjoy everything that all the national parks and the states have to offer. We would love for you to subscribe and follow along with us. Until next time, guys, go out and have some crazy fun with your crazy family.